everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be finishing up this design and by finishing up I mean creating the last step which is going to be a little sidebar here. Nothing too special just someplace that we can throw some text. And hopefully this is working now. <laughs> I recorded this once and forgot to enable my microphone. So let's go ahead and just jump right in by creating a new layer and then grab our rounded rectangle tool and make sure the radius is 10 pixels and I'm going to start by dragging up here um, over to about right here and that that big okay so go back to layers and paths hold down control and select that path and I'm just going to quickly fill it with white or something doesn't matter deselect that and then I'm going to grab the effects from this title bar which is this title right here by holding down alt and click on the effects and drag it up and you can see it changed to that green gradient color alright so now I'm going to add a uh, quick gloss effect sort of like this but something a little bit different because the box is is uh, quite a bit bigger so I'm going to make a new layer and then grab the pen tool and click from about down here to here and make it rounded and then just click around to close it off so let's go back to paths create that selection and then on that new layer I'm going to grab the gradient tool and make the gradient white to nothing and this drag off to about right there just so the white doesn't go all the way to the end of the box so I'm going to deselect that duplicate this layer and let's move it over a bit uh, that looks good. Alright, so then hold down control and select this box right here so it makes that selection and go to select inverse and just delete and then control D. Let me make this window a little bit smaller so we can see. Alright, then I'm going to change the opacity or first change the layer properties to overlay on both of these and then I'm going to change the the opacity to about 20. Then this one down quite a bit more to 6. Okay. And then select all three of these layers. Control G to group them. And I'm going to name it sidebar. Then grab that layer and drag it right above the header layer. So it's underneath the navigation layer. So we get that shadow on it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is make a new layer and then I'm going to check these settings for this latest news and it's Arial Black and let's grab this color right here just going to highlight copy it and then come back down to this layer and just click and then I'm going to write um, let's go with servers Cause a lot of uh, game websites have a list of servers that you can play on online so make sure it's Arial Black change the color to that green color oops change the color to the green and then make this a little bit bigger okay and then I'm just going to click it and control T hold on shift and turn it this way let's make it slightly bigger Forty five pixels is good enough. And then I'm going to lower this opacity quite a bit so it's barely visible. Just like that. Close this up. And that's it for the sidebar. I'm not going going to add the actual servers yet. We are going to do that once we start coding up the website. So we're able to change it without having to go into Photoshop and editing the image and re uploading that. So um, one last thing I want to do before I can call this template complete is create rollover buttons for the navigation bar. So we're coming over to navbar and let's grab this layer right here which is the text. I'm just going to duplicate it and then delete the effects by clicking the FX and dragging it to the garbage can. So then hide the, the original layer which is this one right here and double click the one that we just made. Go over to gradient overlay and let's change this white to black 
and then this black to let's go with a dark red something like that and oops let's drag this over so it's not all the way up on top of the the text a little bit more okay and I'm not going to add a stroke or anything or else or else it's going to look a little too bulky and out of the place out of place so I'm just going to leave it at that and then let's just name this real quick name this nav original original I gotta spell it correctly nav rollover okay and let's just hide that one and bring that one back up and that's going to be it for this template and go ahead and save it and then on the next tutorial we are going to be going through cutting it out and coding it up so stay tuned for that and see you next time